Hi, Vijit. How's it going? Hi. Hi, everything is fine. Everything Great. is fine. Sir. Fantastic. So today we are going to review Abhijit's Google Ads account and find some improvement. However, before we do that, before we go into Google Ads account, we are going to look at the website first and understand what is the business goal and therefore what should be the goal and then we'll go into reviewing the Google Ads account. So uh, please walk me through uh, like the business uh, URL and the business goal. So I guess akashinstitutions.com is the website correct yes sir yes, sir. okay yes i'm gonna share my screen and we'll look at it together can you see my screen yes 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 okay perfect um so i went to your ad and opened the landing page but let's look at it here <clears throat> so give me like 30 second introduction of what this business is about and what are they looking to, uh, what is their objective, what is their goal? Abhijit? Yeah, yeah, uh, sir, actually this is a medical college, it's a private medical college. So okay. uh, the it's a, it's, a, it's a very new, new institution. So what they wanted, they wanted uh, admissions, admission to these paramedical courses, MBBS and uh, uh md and all these this so they wanted leads so our purpose of the campaign is lead generation to all these courses perfect so, so now that we have to yeah we have established a lead generation account uh do you have um target cost per acquisition in mind do you have that number yes uh actually my target was uh, around 90 rupees 90, 90 was the target. Yeah. So, uh, what does sound like a lead? So, when somebody comes to this website, um, where where would the lead happen? Where would the lead capture happen? What are different ways? Yeah. There's a landing page. Yeah. There are landing pages created for each and every course. For example, if somebody uh, for BSc nursing, we have a page for BSc nursing. For if it is a BPT, there is a course page for BPT. So they have to fill up the form, MLT. All for all, every course we have a separate page. So they have to form the fill, fill up the F application form there. Yeah. Great. I, I will uh, share you the link if you want. Yeah. Yeah, you can share me the link. My quick question though is, are you sending any traffic at all to the home page? No, we are not. I, I'm not sending any traffic to home page. Okay, does that mean you are not? Or, yes, exactly. Yes, I, I send traffic, you know, I, I, I used to conduct a video campaign. I mean, only for the leads. For okay. leads, I send them to homepage. Oh, okay. Uh, how about the brand campaign? Are you running any brand keyword campaign or no? Yeah, brand keyword. Uh, yeah, I am, I'm running a brand keyword campaign. So that's absolutely a call only campaign. Oh, brand keyword campaign is a call only campaign. Call, call only campaign, yeah. But the landing page URL for the brand campaign should be the home page, correct? Uh, yes, you are right. Yes, yes. But oh. there are some other uh, this, yeah. Oh yeah, there are other things also there. Okay, uh, so let's look at one of your landing pages. This is the one I had opened before jumping on this call. So it's BSc, MIT, or what? Yeah. MLT. MLT, MLT, Medical Laboratory Technology. Okay. So this is one landing page. Correct? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So when somebody comes here from the campaign, what are the different ways they can convert is number one, they can call. Call. Uh, they can send an email. But remember email. that when they send an email, you won't, you won't be able to track that as a conversion, correct? If they yes, call, yes, can, uh, yeah. Call, I set up the call, call tracking. Call tracking, yes. So call tracking you can do, uh, but this this one won't be tracked. Um, tracked. There a reason why you are showing the email address here? There are no reason, only uh, there are no reasons. There is no reason, okay. Do you think you can uh, persuade them to get this off? No, no. There is no such leads are not yet received any single lead from this email via email. Oh, nobody has 
send an email to this yes yes okay but have you received so number one they can call number two they can send an email to this email id number three they can click on the apply now button correct what happens yes, yes. on the apply now button um there is a form and this is a kind of a, a extensive form so they will fill this form and what happens on the next page next we only tell thank you thank you page is there okay uh, then in the thank you page we have a campus tour video as okay. well as uh, some gal gallery uh, page photos and uh, all this uh, place okay but the moment they fill this form you will count this as a lead correct yes yes that's a lead okay yes, perfect sir. have you been receiving leads from this form have people been filling yes 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 so many filling uh, people are filling up the form they are seeing lots of leads okay but ma well, majority yeah. sorry go ahead majority ma ma majority of the leads are coming from another application form which is there in the home page uh, if you go uh, i mean in the landing page just below the uh, you have been seen that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this tab and this is how you can duplicate this on chrome right click on the tab and duplicate so on this tab we'll go to the home page so you're saying that there is another form not of... in, not in the home page. landing page i mean the landing page oh you meant the landing page oh okay so so one is apply now where is the uh, okay let's go back to the landing page where is the other form just just to scroll a bit below oh yeah, yes. here is the admission and query form i see so a lot of people are filling this form this form this form any reason why this form and this uh, apply now form are forms are different yeah uh, because uh, from apply now form we get you know uh, much the quality of the leads are much much higher only very uh, genuine people will form, fill up this apply now form great and this is what i talked about in one of the sessions is that when you have automated bid strategy at play like target cpa bid strategy and broad match keyword we call it broad mason um, at solution said this is a term coined by me <laughs> i will take the credit yeah. so what happens is uh, people <laughs> asked in that class is that um, broad match keyword target cpa even for, for that uh, matter performance max if you run performance max campaign uh, one of the flip side is that um, you'll start getting more inquiries but relevance of those inquiries will be less right yes so my suggestion uh, to that point was that you should increase the barrier to entry which is so instead of um, instead of this a small form which people can casually fill if they they were asked to fill this form you will get more serious inquiries and it's important you all because more uh, qualified inquiries you get you are in turn teaching the machine learning algorithm uh, to go after those kind of qualified inquiries so when you are playing with machine learning and automated bid strategies always keep in mind that it's not about the numbers it's not about the number of inquiries you get or it's not about the cost per acquisition that you were hitting uh, i mean you can have like just name and email and <laughs> a lot of people can fill that form but is that going to translate into business and therefore are you teaching the machine learning algorithm the right way to go after more qualified prospects probably not so by doing this making people fill this form you will get fewer inquiries in short run but in the long run you would have trained the campaign algorithm to work harder for you and therefore get you more qualified inquiries you will hit that target cpa goal later in the game in the long run not in the short run but that's still like you know that's that's a good way to approach it right okay so i have a follow up question for you abhijit why are we not um using that form here the yeah uh, the reason is uh, one only one because uh, i was not uh, you know uh, using okay. performance max campaigns i was only running search campaigns okay okay yeah and also yeah uh, as you said i was getting you know lead, quality, qualified quality leads but yes. when i shifted to performance max then the quality of the leads has 
uh, come down. That's what uh, yeah that that I observed in the second stage. Mm -hmm. Now I will yeah now I I will do this the whatever you said at that point I will I will implement in the coming coming yes. campaign. Yes. Okay. So uh, let's take a recap. What are the call to action items here? Uh, phone, email, apply now, and um, what happens when oh so, campus tour? What happens on campus tour? If somebody clicks on uh, but there is no no way to convert here, right? Yes, yes. there's okay. no way to convert. So, so another uh, I have a counter question. If nobody is going to convert from here, why give it such a prominent space? Like think about it. Apply now and campus tour. Yes. People have to make a choice between these two. Yes, yes, yes. If they consciously or unconsciously go to a campus tour, you are not directing them from here to like if they are watching this after the video or somewhere, you should be like, hey, now that you have watched the video, go apply now. But when they are here, they have, I mean, you have like distracted them from converting. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. I understood. I understood. So I so would I say that. You know, uh, another thing that the visual element here is that apply now and campus tour look like exactly the same, these two buttons, which means you are telling the users that these both actions are similar. You're not giving them a visual okay. cue saying that, hey, this is more important, this is less important. You, you know what I'm saying? So you should do that. Yes, 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 I understand. Yeah, you're doing this with the notifications. Okay. What happens on the notifications? Notifications only a small news regarding these courses and all courses and new Again, seats availability and all those things. Only. Information. Right? I would so information. information. Yeah. So that you all, the reason why I am, um, you know, looking at the website in such a like focused way, is because what happens in Google Ads is one thing. You can have the best possible targeting and campaign structure and bid strategy and everything there. But ultimately from the campaign, if people see the ad, they have to come to the website and this is where the conversion happens, right? So you have to yes. get this thing fixed first before you try and fix things in Google ads. You get it, Avizit? So um, yes, yes, yes. Watching, that's the right point. Yeah, this is how you should approach it. Okay. so. I have another feedback, which is you are giving them how many options? One, two, three, four, five options. Like when somebody is here, you are giving them five choices. The conversion rate is already down by one fifth. Like you are, you have put yourself at 20% conversion rate right from the word go. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> You get my point? Like if you should not like, yes, yes, yes. see people are, our attention span is decreasing with mobile phones and everything. What happens? I mean, people are like, when they are searching, when they are visiting websites, they are into this constant um, thought of consuming as much information as they can and make a decision and understand and appreciate their state of mind. And try and not to confuse them. Okay. This is exactly what you would see in yes. a big a business um, landing page. You would see that they have only one call to action. Let's take an example. I want to drive this point home because this is so important, right? This is um, this is like affecting your conversion right from the first scroll from the moment they have come to the landing page, the first five, 10 seconds are important. And you are like giving them too many details to choose from. <laughs> They're going to need it. But, uh, I, yeah, yeah. I have a question there because yeah. even if they click the canvas, canvas tool, so this, this portion is fixed. I mean, this header portion is fixed. So they can easily apply now. They can, if they are yeah. Im, Im, impressed with the canvas tool, yeah, they can easily go apply now and they can fill up the form. Am I right? I get it. I get it. So here is what happens. At distraction. Yeah. No, it's not a distraction, but here is what happens. 
if you have repetitive information across the pages, it becomes a blind spot. Not for you, because you have created this website and you are looking at it your way, your way. But when somebody is looking at it for the first time and they have already taken an action here, the next time around, it becomes a blind spot for them. And then they're like, what happens? What is their state of mind? Campus tour, therefore, they're watching this video. And they will take a decision after watching the video here. You're expecting them to scroll up and take a decision. And again, choose from the five dishes here. You are like, um, again, spoiling them for choices and they will be confused. Like they will, like you are increasing their uh, information load. Um, but uh, let me let me show you what I mean here. So um, let's say, uh, I, I give the example of ClickUp. I think this could be a great example. Let's see project management tool, Atlassian. This is the first ad. Let's click on this. So see what happens. I, I did a search. I got the um, ad and I'm looking at the landing page now. So now they have, I don't think they have a very, very specific landing page, but you would see that they have this one singular call to action, buy now, get it free. The choice is between two. And these are like two very distinct choices. Understand the visual treatment also. Like login looks different, buy now looks different, get it free looks different. And get it free is kind of theme. Sign up now is also there, but it looks different. Like they are like visually separated. So you will not confuse easily between these four. You will be like, okay, if I'm looking at get it free, my focus is on get it free. I, mean, I don't like two, three buttons together to look at, right? Um, yeah, I, I want to share another example, a better example. Um, I don't think they have done a great job, Asana. So let's look at Asana ad and see what happens here. You see? Yeah, it, what do you yeah, see? So get started, get started, get started. Because you are visually telling them, boss, get started here, get started here. Here, yes, yes, yes. what is the immediate first step? Like next step for them, once they've come to the landing page, they have, they can do this, 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 or they can scroll down spoiled for choices. So fix this. I know um, <laughs> the thing is that when website designers and developers and marketers and all the stakeholders on the other side of the table, when they create a website like this, they have this understanding that I want to give them all options and how can they not differentiate? Why can't they see the apply now button? Why can't they see the form here? But you have created this, you are looking at it day in, day out, and therefore you expect them to react this way. This is not going to happen. Like People are in a different uh, state of mind. They have different uh, situations and they, are, and they are spoiled for choices already. Not on the website. Even when they did the search, they were spoiled for choices here. So the like Google spoiled them for choices here. They have made a choice to come to you. Like Out of this crowd, they have chosen you. Once they choose you and come here, don't confuse them, please. Once they come here, don't confuse them. You, you get my point? Like, although you are yes, saying, yes, yes, saying in all of these ways, they, they will contact you. And there is contact us here also, by the way. All, the, all of the ways, they will contact yeah. you ultimately. But that, that moment when they are like spoiled for these four or five choices, that's when the conversion possibility goes down. Okay. So enough about this. Um, now let's look at another thing. So you are getting conversions from here, right? Yes, yes. Uh, yes, from this one. Out of all the conversions you get, and I will verify this on the campaigns, what percentage comes from apply now? What percentage comes from this uh, inquiry form? 
this is a 95 percentage is admission and gori form five percentage only application okay uh let's look at the mobile uh, view of this website so you can click on inspect and change this icon here to look at the mobile view so my question to you do you understand why people are filling just this form yes yes in mobile it's 95 percent of people 90 percent of people visit via mobile why because so they, they don't, don't have those that. options they don't have those options they, yeah. they start seeing akash instead, they scroll down and the only thing they can see is the form If you isolate the website and uh, mobile uh, desktop and mobile traffic and you set up different campaigns for these two, you will see that the 95% conversion rate from desktop will not be the case because on desktop they are spoiled for choice. Yes, yes. Um, you have also download brochure. Are you getting some Bro brochure? Um, you are getting downloads yeah. from this also? Do yeah, that's also taking place. Yes. What percentage is download? Yeah, if it is 95% and everything else is 5%, right? Yes, yes, yes. And you said that you are running um, call only campaigns also? Yeah, call only campaign for branded keywords. For branded keywords. But where would branded they go? For, for, um, for program specific campaigns, we are not running uh, call only campaign? Uh, I, I didn't get the. So, for example, this, this landing page is for BSc MLT admission. For BSc yeah. MLT admission, there is no call only campaign? No, 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 no. Yeah, oh. all, only for branded keyword I created call only campaign because which has a business, uh, you know, uh, purpose behind it, which I cannot reveal it right now also. Ah, no, that's, that's, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. So, and what I wanted to verify is this. When you are running a call only campaign, and they come to the website, if they happen to click on it, uh, are you showing the phone number? You were, you, you're doing that here. So that's a good thing. You were not doing that on the landing page. So if you ran, ran a call only campaign and sent them on this landing page, there was more, no phone number displayed because they are browsing through the mobile and that's when they will likely see the mobile call only ad. If they come here and don't see the phone number, you are actually discounting your own conversion rate, correct? So if you, yeah. in future, if you run a call only campaign for a program like BSc MLT admission, you should yes, yes. also display the phone number here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay cool. Sure. Now, yeah. So we have understood the website, we have identified some CRO opportunities here. Now it's time to dive into the campaign, see what can be improved there, right? So yes, sure. let's go into the campaigns. We are at all campaigns. Um, yeah, we're looking at all the campaigns. So uh, help me understand what kind of campaigns you have created and why. Yeah, he, here you can see S. Yes, starting all the S ca campaigns starting with SC search campaigns. Okay. Yeah, and PM is for performance max campaigns and uh, then you can say D for display campaigns. Okay. Then, yeah. Then, uh, then, uh, then you can see the timeline, uh, the course. After that, S dot Agash dot, then course name. Renal dialysis is there, BSc nursing is there. Then okay. you can see uh, MLT course is there, anesthesia, all our course specific search campaigns. Okay. So, uh, cost wise, this is your uh, search campaign, Akas MLT, kept on the TC. Yes. Right. This is the. Is this the best performing campaign? So I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna. A, yeah. I'm going to do just do one thing. I'm going to change the columns a bit so that I can look at most important numbers first. All right. So yes, yes. what I'm interested in is clicks. Right. Clicks. I need to drive it all the way to the up. Okay. Um, I will look at clicks on the top, then cost, then I will look at conversions. So you don't have conversions here. Let's find the conversion. So you can conversions. Con con conversion here. Sir. Oh, it's here. 
So we can take conversion by conversion time also, and I will talk about that in a moment. Where is the conversion? Yes. Just. Yeah. Uh, do you also have cost per conversion? Yes, yes, yes. Just there is. No, uh, I don't see cost per conversion here. So anyway, no, oh, it's not. It's here, but can you see? Oh, it's here at the bottom. It's a Saturday morning afternoon, so a little bit slow. My mind is not working as fast as uh, Monday to Friday it does. <laughs> okay, I'm also gonna um, look at conversion rate. Okay, now I have all my. There is al already a column. Yeah. There is already I created a another uh, custom call. Custom column is there with all these things. Uh, okay. Anyways, we have uh, done this anyway. Okay. 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 Yeah. We're gonna need a few more columns, but I will look at them later. Okay, let's let's try and understand the campaign performance based on first highest spending. <clears throat> so, uh, sixteen hundred rupees per month per day budget. You have got three hundred nineteen conversions and cost per conversion, which is cost per lead or cost per acquisition, is uh, CPA is one hundred and four. Conversion rate is healthy at 6.76%. That's great. And then this campaign has 31, spent 31,000. And what is the date range here? Let's look at the date range. Uh, the date range is, we're looking at last 30 days, for example, right? Okay. All right, so last 30 days, 3,304. So this one is a better performing campaign already. Akash Gupta. Um, yes, yes. Akash Nursing. This is nursing. This is good. This is a nursing campaign, nursing program, right? Okay. Um, nursing. Yes, yes. So seventy-four conversion rate is higher. All only Akash. This is going to the home page, correct? Phone number and home page. Home page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, only one can. Because I, 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 I'm not uh, here, I'm not uh, basically uh, tracking the calls because they're saying they're, uh, you know, for, in order to track calls, we have to sh change the number. So uh, our team will not be able to see the number. They will see another number, call tracking, if I switch on the call tracking. Oh, man. Um, yeah, this is... Is there any other way? Which I... <laughs> yeah. You can have a routing number. Um, so... I don't think it's available in India. We use something like uh, call tracking metrics or call rate. So call tracking metrics does what? It will generate a random number for the ad, but it will direct when, when people call that number, it will direct them to the number you want them to reach to. Okay. So that way you don't have to change the number and um, you can still count conversions. Plus there are there is one more thing you can do is, so I, I want to get into that later actually. Let, let's, let's pause here and understand search campaigns first, not call only campaigns. So we don't have any visibility into this campaign. So we, we won't be able to assess whether or not it's working, correct? Yes. It's, if you're not tracking yeah. something, you're not something. Yeah. So we're gonna just look at search campaigns. Uh, this is optometry, uh, 81, 160. This one is uh, giving you, okay. So I, what I see is that your conversion rate across the landing pages is kind of identical, right? 6%, 7%, that's I, I, Yeah. Uh, CPA differs uh, a bit. Like for example, I would put them at par. This is, doing well and this is kind of going above the line all right um before i do this uh i want to connect the business goal with the conversion goals here so what i want to do is i want to segment this conversion and see what's really happening where are you getting conversions from so you can go to segment conversions and conversion action okay and see what conversions actions are delivering you conversions here okay 
So if you segment this, you see that out of the 319 conversions you have got, brochure download is 258. So the 90% of the conversions that you thought were coming from this lead form is actually not true. Okay. 200 out of 258 out of 319 it's from the brochure download. Uh, oh, for, for which uh, gosh, okay, MLT course. Okay. Yes. This might be a similar thing elsewhere too. See, on this one, uh, more than 50% is brochure download. Um, oh man, you have a lot of conversion actions here. And I want to, I will, yeah, I want to look into that. But which one is the conversion action that's associated with this one? The admission inquiry form, you know? Yeah, that the conversion application form fill up. I think, uh, please show me this form fill up. It is form fill up. Uh, form fill up. There is form fill up. MBA lead Christ, phone calls. Swag chat, web chat. Where is form fill up? Form fill up is not. It's not here, right? Yeah. Yeah. For MLTGs, I think it's a brochure download. It's my. It my could be this conversion action, but probably it's named incorrectly, yeah. right? Yeah. Correct. It could, be, it could be this. Because I also suspect that if the form is so visible and brochure download is not so visible on the page here. Yeah. Why would people so brochure download like this inquiry form is very visible brochure is down on the page. So I wouldn't assume that this is getting like 70 80% conversions. So the first thing you should do is you should rename this um, conversion action to call it the admission inquiry. Uh, admission inquiry. Okay. okay. So <laughs> You see how yes. we are like peeling the onion here. We are like, uh, we first looked at the website, then we are looking at the campaign and we are trying to connect the dot between website goals and conversion actions. We're trying to see what we wanted to achieve on the website and what are we achieving here on the campaigns. Super important. Like this is how, if you're watching, this is how you should be looking at things. And if you look at things, this is how you can identify uh, errors of opportunities. Okay, cool. So okay. it's kind of um, so we wouldn't. Uh, what is this? What is this uh, inquiry nursing? Inquiry. Uh, that's a um, yeah. Uh, what is this? Is this? I think it is the inquiry form being tracked to Google Analytics. Yeah. Is this the case? I am also coming. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, and if this is the form being tracked through direct conversion action set up on the website, and if this is coming from Google Analytics, you might have a duplication here. I am going by your okay. thought that this could be possibly the inquiry form. If this is inquiry form, then this sounds like inquiry form also. Yes, yes. If this is the case, then you are counting yeah. duplicate conversions. Possibly, but I don't know yet. This is actually, I think uh, this is a different form. There is a form every page. So I have, we have two pages for nursing as well. There's a one landing page is there also. Another page for like this. In there, I, I put an in nursing. Maybe that could be the form. No, the chances of them going to another page and then filling up the form from there and therefore the number being so high like 60 out of 400 is less likely. So if you brought them here, most of the conversions will happen here. Where is that? Like, Is there a link to that nursing page from here? Yeah, from here you can see the course page here. I think Where is courses it? you can see. Courses, if you click courses. Okay. And this form? 
So in the same. Yeah, no, no. Now for BSc medical, we have another separate landing page for BSc. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's look at the number. <laughs> for this no, no no another thing you should not auto play the video when it's so down on the page because then people will get annoyed just no, no, no. Yeah. we both got annoyed <laughs> because we couldn't find where the video is right <laughs> you are auto playing the video and it's not on the first scroll it's a miss right but i i could find it because i'm kind of i know my way around <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Say, what the yeah, heck? Right. Where is the video playing? And suddenly, <laughs> <laughs> it's a mistake. Yeah, it's a mistake. yeah, yeah. All right. Um, can you give me the nursing page? I, I, okay, wait. I can I can take it from. So this is the nursing campaign. Um, I want to duplicate this tab. No, I can actually go into this one and go to the ads and take the nursing page. From here, this is your nursing page, right? So if yes, yes, yes. the form here, this is the inquiry. Where is that page coming from? We can actually also find that out. You know how? Uh, so you are under the assumption that where is this conversion access coming from? Let's take. Uh, let's like dig this little deep. Okay, uh, I'm gonna duplicate this again and leave it open. And we want to investigate what's happening here, right? Where is this? Uh, not not this one. Yeah, not in this case. It was actually this one. Inquiry nursing. Where is this coming from? So let's go to conversion actions now. Tools and settings conversions, and we have our conversion actions here. Okay, do all conversion actions. Here is the inquiry nursing. Uh, this one right yes 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 open this and see the web pages where is this coming from this is a brochure download brochure downloads yes yes it's coming from brochure downloads yeah so it's also named wrong yeah let's look at this one i got saying brochure download 2022 is this the brochure download so um oops Details back. This one, right? Our cash nursing portal download. Yes. And the web pages. Web page unknown. This is nursing admissions. Special. Yeah. So that's just uh, both our naming is changed. That's the problem. Ah. Uh, yeah. So you gotta fix that because unless you fix that. You don't know what's happening. What's happening? Yes, yes. <clears throat> okay. Uh, cool. So the number one thing that I will fix, and that's where the whole thing starts when you are trying to audit a campaign uh, account and their campaigns, is fix the conversion actions first. You should have absolute clarity within Google Ads that what conversions. I want to go for, which is attached to my business goal, and therefore, with these conversion actions, I want to train my uh, automated bid strategy, machine learning algorithm at Google Ads, the right way to go after more of those kind of uh, prospects, and that's how you can scale it. If you were doing manual CPC and no automated bid strategy, and there was no machine learning at 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 play here. You could have like not cared too much about it, but that's the futuristic way. And now you are talking about performance mix also. So you have to fix this one thing first. This is the topmost improvement opportunity. Okay, you should have absolute clarity about yes, yes. conversion actions. Once you have figured that out, we will go into understanding because this is kind of eighty percent of the weightage, <laughs> in my opinion. Like if you are going for the wrong goal, then you are doing everything right, or wrong. Wrong. Yeah. Wrong. Yes. Like I, yes. For example, I want to go to Delhi, but in Google Map, I I I, I put uh, Bangalore. Starting from Goa, I will go the wrong way. <laughs> I 
or if i don't know Sorry. where i'm going <laughs> i can i like from go i can go anywhere i can go to mumbai i can go to bangalore chennai anywhere i can go <laughs> so knowing yes, where yes, you are yes. going and what you are going for is very very important so I, that's where i will start <clears throat> yes yes because once i once i have figured that out that what speed i should be driving uh, how much should uh, should be spent on fuel or Uh, should i run should i be running air condition or not or should i have a co passenger should i pay for the toll all of those little things can be sorted out on the way and it's not yes that big it doesn't make that big much of much of a difference correct yes. the destination should be clear so <clears throat> um so that's how what i will figure out um now let's go into the campaigns specific campaigns and see how the campaigns are structured so i will start with the most performing one So you have one campaign, one ad group. So uh, yes, sir. yes, I want to look at the settings quickly, and I see you have maximized conversions with target CPA one hundred and ten. Not bad. Uh, all languages, and you are targeting these specific states. states. Yes. Perfect. uh so far so go to your location options uh presence or interest i think i would go for presence abhijit because um, if you are yeah yeah you understand the difference between these these two presence or interest yes, 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 yes. if delhi is not in your targeting somebody sitting in delhi can search for um institute whatever medical institute in west bengal and they can still see the ad it means presence or interest so that's a uh, Yeah, you should I have to change that. Yes, we have to select it present. Yes. That when people are physically in yes. these these places, they can see your ad. I don't know if that's like what's more relevant. You can think this through. That yeah, this... do you want to target folks who are anywhere and th- interested in West Bengal and Tripura, the institute in West Bengal, Tripura, and all those locations, or do you think they have to be physically in that? Possibly, this is the this yeah, is. Uh, the I... More relevant case for you. So, for example, what happens if I am if if I am sitting in Goa <clears throat> and my brother wants to take an admission in some college in Delhi, I will search about that institute, so Delhi Institute, without going to the hell. Do you do the search from here? So, possibly this is a better choice here. But I am saying that you should understand the choices. Choices, yes, yes. Yeah. So you should understand what you should, should go for. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Um, first, yeah. First one is fine. First, first one is fine. Yeah, first one is fine. Uh, but I'm just yeah. for the viewers. I'm just explaining that when you are targeting the campaign, you should understand yes, yes. these options and you should uh, make a conscious choice that this is what you want to go after. All right. Uh, yes, let's yes. look at your keywords. And so BSc MLT admission, BSc MLT admission. Let's take a quick. Five second look at it. Akash Medical Institute, BSc Nursing. Now here is another CRO opportunity for you, um, yeah. Abhijit. When some yes, yes. searching for BSc uh, BSc MLT uh, admission, Akash Institute they see here. So yeah. then that yeah. um, BSc MLT thing here is the headline, no? Why has I, this I, taken this, a back? So this is not the landing page. Yes. Not this landing. The next one. Oh, the you next. Have the next. Next. Yes. This is the. the so. Same thing. Here. Oh, this is also not the landing page. The yeah, landing. this is the landing page. This is the landing. This is the landing page. Wait, wait, wait. I will. Um... So, let's look at the ad. I, I, BSc MLT admission is the keyword, and I want to look at the land uh, ad. Sorry, ad. Ad says BSc MLT admission 2022, BSc MLT admission in Bangalore, BSc MLT admission. Ad strength is poor. Let's click on this ad. What happens? So somebody searched for BSc MLT admission. The ad said BSc MLT admission, and when they come here, you are saying Akash Medical College. This is not what you should be saying. This you have said BSc MLT, but. Again, you are confusing that this is a CRO opportunity. Say BLT admission, uh, BSc MLT admission 
write in the headline no this this would not miss it otherwise yes, they would yes. say oh have i come to the home page now let's let me go and find where is bsc mlt admission page yes yes, yes. you understand the difference yeah so you have done it here um, you should have this is this should have been your headline here you headline don't need here brand, yes, yes, yeah. yes you should not you we don't need to brand akash medical college when you are selling the course akash medical college is here the logo is here and everything yeah. is here they have like yes, yes, yes. they are being exposed to it you should yeah. not compromise on this okay so um, <clears throat> uh, keywords back to keywords bsc mlt admission 2022 medical imaging technology admission good uh, these keywords sound good now i want to look at this keyword in broad match 4600 clicks what are the search terms i'm figuring okay so um, search terms bsc mlt college bsc mlt these all sound super relevant actually this is also sounding relevant to you paramedical college yes, yes. Yes. Patna. Paramedical college in Patna is not relevant. Okay, so you should be, and you know one more thing you can do, you can see if this is not the relevant term, you should exclude this first of all. You should, yes. What you should also do, um, Abhijit, is that you should see which keyword, so there are keywords in targeting, and these keywords have triggered your ads for these search terms, correct? Now you should go and see yes, which yes. keyword has actually triggered your ad for um, paramedical college in Patna. So go to customize okay, okay. columns, customize columns. Oh, you actually have the keywords here. Wait, where is the keyword? Yeah, yes, yes, the keyword yes there is a keyword. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So paramedical college in Patna, BSc MLT admission. This is exactly what Broadmesh TCPA can do. This is, and Broadmesh TCPA is doing this, and you can see probably you will not see so much uh, so closely in performance max. So I would exclude this, or I would um, exclude Patna for that matter. Yeah. Patna is the keyword for for that matter. Negative phrase negative, or I would yeah. yes, yes the whole thing in exact or phrase whatever. Okay. So yeah, you should yeah, be yeah. actively monitoring these search terms to see what's going. And if you change the date range, uh, right now you see that there are 27 clicks. If you go to 365 days for that matter, or oh, this has not been running for a while, like this. Yeah, not, yes, yes, yes. So yeah. it's new. Campaign. It started in yeah, January. It okay. started in this year, January. Uh, okay. All right, so that's one improvement opportunity. Uh, what I noticed while I was looking at the ad is that you have poor ad strength, and this is something you should yes. So let me edit the ad and see why it's poor. I I could right up front see that you have repetitive headline, and that's not good. So uh, you know, BSc MLT admission, Akas Medical College download. MLT brochure, MLT brochure now. See, these are two very, very similar keywords. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah. These three are similar. You could, you could, yes, uh, you know, mix it up. So Google is telling you these could be the possible headlines. This is not relevant. This is not relevant. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. But this is relevant. B dot. Yeah. Uh, medical no, medical record technician is not relevant. No, no. For, no. First, first only, two are relevant. BSc MLT admission twenty twenty one is relevant. But it's Generally, already gone. BSc no? MLT twenty one is already gone. Already, it's twenty twenty two already. No, and you have this. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. But what? Yes. No, you were saying something. Yeah, but admission for twenty 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 one. Uh, admission year is taking place right now. So oh, that can be relevant. Yeah, that can be relevant. Education year, yes. Yes. What else I could find is is this. So uh, this is a landing page. BSc uh, Medical Laborator. Uh, you can probably try and put a headline around this. Um, yes. BSc Medical Laborator Technology Admission. 
uh, see if you can find some more opportunities. Uh, task campus tour. Let's do a competitor ad research. Let's see what others are saying. Uh, and this is also important. So uh, let's take the keyword from here, for example. And let's see what others are saying. I wouldn't see the ads maybe because I'm in Goa. You're probably not targeting Goa. Yes. Now I see. Can no, I I, yeah. Sorry, saying something? No, what uh, what I was saying that our campaign is posted today. Not today, ah. because few for uh, last two, two days, yes. Some credit card issue is there uh, in my account. So oh I yeah, I saw that. But I'm not interested in looking at your ad. I am saying what other ads are there for this yeah. So. Okay, Do these okay. sound like competitors or no? Are these competitors? These are not. Uh, no, no, no. This is not a competitor. This is not a competition. BSC. Yeah, yeah. this Mahi Manipal. Yeah, the third third one is a competitor. Manipal BSC. I uh, know this is also biotechnology course. Yeah. Okay. Um, where is this um, institute located? Yeah. Where is the location? Our, our institute. Yes. Okay, this is in Bangalore. Bangalore. So I will type search with Bangalore and see if there are ads here. Um, do this sound like computers? Or no? It's a question. Yeah. You want to share your the course is different. So what happens when you search for uh, this on your computer? Same. They are uh, yeah. No, can you uh, do you want to share your screen and show me what uh, happens? Yeah, sir, you can take this as uh, yeah, this one as which one? Uh, yeah, I, I will uh, but uh, uh, let yeah. This one, this one, this uh, medical university, GMU. Bachelor degree, this can be taken as a competitor. Okay. What I'm trying to say, and this is in Gulf, this is not here, uh, this is UAE. What I'm trying to say is that when you are writing ads, you should do the competitor ad response like this. You are sitting in Bangalore, you will probably see more ads like this. Uh, you should like try and yes. see some 20, 30 ads. You will get a lot of ideas how you can make your ads better, what competitors are saying. So for example, um, GMU is okay. saying, so bachelor degree, degree in healthcare, is this something that's relevant? Is this something to offer? No? Yeah, uh, healthcare, it's a, a something relevant, something related to the to our course. So this could be one of the headlines. You can borrow this idea from this ad, that bachelor degree in healthcare could be one of the headlines. Again, if you see 20, 30 ads like this for your keywords, you will un like start getting the gist of it that, okay, what can I say in my ad to beat the competitors? Like, for example, some institute might be saying that we have amazing infrastructure. Another institute would say that our yes. admission fee is less or third institute would say that we have the best of faculty. Uh, and another institute would say that, um, our courses are well recognized world over. So those kind of USPs they will talk about in their ad. Once you start noticing what they are saying in the ads, you will borrow, you will be able to borrow ideas from there and you will be able to see, okay, now that these guys are saying these many um, amazing things, what should I say in my ads to distinguish my ads from others? Like for example, if people are looking at four ads together, why should they click on your ad and why should they not go for the other ones? So this is how you can, there is a lot of room for improvement here on the ad copy. Um, yes, sir. Right? So you can you can take this. Uh, let's look at, so ads are one thing. I, I only looked at it because the ad strength was poor. 
um, yes yes otherwise um, so conversion action let's recap conversion actions you have to fine tune that like clean it up uh, number you. two you have to um, exclude the key search terms they're not relevant number three yes. you have yes. to fix the add strength right add strength yes uh, yes number four there are a lot of cro issues we have discussed on the website fix that too C CR, yes, yes number yes, five sir. you're not tracking phone call conversions find a way because yes. you have no visibility yes. into how many uh, phone calls are coming as a conversion and therefore it's a significant part of chunk of leads not being accounted for yes therefore it you're not yes, training the machine learning algorithm how to go after more such qualified calls Cool. Yes, yes. Um, okay. Let's look at another campaign and see if we can find some. So we spent already one hour here. Abhijit, I think we, we can do a follow up. We spent one hour here and let's not make this video too long. Yes. But I think what we have discussed yes, so yes. Are massive takeaways for you and everyone else who is watching this. Correct? Yes. Yes, so, yes. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. So fix these things. We'll do a follow up call where we will dive deeper into it. But I hope today's session yes, was okay. helpful to you. Yes. Guys, yeah, so um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you had some learnings from here. And if you did, please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. And um, if you disagree with anything or if you have any question, comment, hit that in the like, say that in the comment section. I am responding almost immediately and I promise to do so. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Wait, before you go, I have a favor to ask you. If you like this video, if you found the content in this video helpful, can you please hit the like button? And if you have any question, can you please ask a question? Uh, both of these things help the YouTube algorithm take this video to more people. And I'm like doing my bit of karma. Can you please do yours and help this video reach more people? Trust me, just with a like uh, and comment, you can actually literally change someone's life. I have seen this happen over the last uh, 20 days that I have been making these videos for. And so I really, really appreciate if you can help me take this to more people. There are a lot of people out there who have, uh, who can use these videos to clarify their concept of Google Ads and be become a better Google Ads specialist. I am doing my bit, like I said. Uh, it's time to do yours. Thank you so much.